Welcome to another quick video. I thought I'd bring you on location this morning to a place that I've been wanting to shoot for a little while. I am at Derry Clare Lock in the west coast of Ireland. Um, I've got out very, very early this morning, quarter past five. I've arrived on location at half past five. It's going to be a very long day today. I'm going to be shooting all the way through the day, right up until the cliffs of Moho at sunset which is about nine quarter past nine tonight now i've come down here this morning because having come yesterday obviously realizing it's a sunrise location so i've arrived this morning at half past five i'm now set up and we've actually got some beautiful pinks trailing across the sky just behind the scots pines on this island the water is not as i would like it i'd like it beautiful and calm get excellent reflections of the trees in the water but you know, you don't always get what you want. So simply, you've just got to come down and just get the best that you can for the conditions that will allow. So I've come down, I've done a, a couple of quick test shots. Um, for those who want to know what equipment I use, I'm on a Canon 5D Mark IV. I'm on a Canon 16-35 F4, which is a superb lens, super sharp. Um, I've also shooting, I've got a Hader point six hard filter just to take back some of the detail in the sky some of the highlights are pushing out a little bit especially making all this sort of uh, foreground uh, foliage and trees <coughs> and the uh, <coughs> surrounding fells in the background um, a little dark otherwise so uh, I've just shot off a couple of shots I've got a six stop filter on which as the light becomes progressively brighter you'll find that you'll have a window of opportunity at 100 ISO so you're getting the best quality where 30 seconds is fantastic and at the right aperture as well as it starts to get brighter and brighter I can then flick onto a 10 stop filter if needed so I've got a couple of shots here I'll just take another one here now here's my little top tip Canon if you're watching can you do me a favor on your next camera and build a little shutter blind within your viewfinder that would be fantastic because it would save me having to carry around a hat in order to cover it so that it, light doesn't get in and obviously then ruin your image you know Nikon I've got it on their top cameras Canon I've got it on their uh, 1DX Mark II come on Canon I thought for the 5D for you to put it on that would have been you know the one feature actually I think we're all crying out for or at least allow us the option of buying a little accessory because otherwise we're going to have to be rather inventive. Now it's not that much of a problem this morning of course because there is no direct light flooding your viewfinder but when it does happen you end up then with a pink streak or potentially a pink streak on your image from the light that gets in. <clears throat> Even if you're shooting uh, via your live view which of course then your mirror is locked up but that's another story. So 30 seconds we've now got just a little bit of burnt out highlights behind these trees but having worked with the 5d4 now for the last I'd say month I have to say that its dynamic range is quite a considerable amount better certainly than the 3 the 5d3 and even the 5ds that I, uh, I recently owned uh, and used so yeah it's uh, that's a big bonus when you're shooting very very contrasty scenes where you've got great areas of you know brightness versus darkness um, I took a shot yesterday uh, down at uh, Glenif Horseshoe two days ago in fact and we've got the Sun top right corner of the image technically it should burn out on the right hand side which of course it did do but it should have normally have left the shadow areas in the background particularly dark but actually, uh, having edited it very, very late last night, it was fine, absolutely amazed. So, uh, well done, Canon, on giving me a sensor that will actually give me reasonable dynamic range. But that's it, really. I mean, the colour's starting to disappear. It really doesn't last very long at all. Five, ten minutes, and your window of opportunity has gone. But uh, I'm going to press on now to uh, another lock nearby. Don't ask me to pronounce it. <laughs> I'd only embarrass myself. And... Uh, yeah, we've got uh, some nice detail on the, uh, on the uh, uh, fells and the hills behind with this lovely cloud that's kicking up. It's just sort of hugging the tops and the summits of that, uh, of that fell. But uh, that's it. That's really all I wanted. Just a very, very quick video just demonstrating what I do at half past five in the morning. So until next time, 
keep shooting, keep smiling.